Poor. Boys are bad, bad. And you know they can never be whack. Poor. Boys are bad. Do you like the score? Poor. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Poor Boys. I am your host, Derek. Today we're going to be making some Chipotle burritos. That's right, not Chipotle, Chipotle. What we're going to do is basically we're going to take some uh, grilled chicken, much like the grilled chicken I did in uh, Poor Boys episode 2. Um, take some of that, add some cilantro, lime rice, uh, some beans, and some cheese, a little bit of salsa, maybe some sauces, and we're going to get that all in a nice uh, warm steamed tortilla, and I'll show you how to do all of that in this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. It's going to save you a lot of money over going to Chipotle or Qdoba and it's going to be just as good. I promise you if you do everything it's just going to be just as good or better. So stay tuned and I'll show you every step on how to make these Chipotle burritos. Alright so just like I said we're going to be using the grilled chicken same as we did in Poor Boys episode 2 so I'm just going to do this really really quick. Basically some thought out chicken, good stuff. Um, we're just going to do the old spice rub here. Um, so you get it, you know, thoroughly covered, uh, kind of just rub it in, give it a little, it's called a spice rub for a reason. So rub it in, get it in there, incorporate it uh, quite nicely, and then um, we're going to throw it on the grill. So if you want all the details on how to do this, check out Poor Boys Episode 2, Cheap Chicken Tacos, and I'll describe everything for you guys on that episode. So do that uh, right now if you haven't uh, seen it, so go ahead and do that now. And then pause this and come back later. Cool. Alright, now that we got our chicken on the grill, I'm going to start up the rice here. Now, I use a, uh, I use a pretty primitive style of measurement. Rice, the, uh, I use minute rice because I'm lazy. You could use regular rice, it just takes a little longer. I'm lazy and minute rice is, you can't really mess up, fuck up minute rice, so it's perfect. So, um, it's a one-to-one -one combination, so I just take, uh, one thing of water here, one mug full of water, and uh, pour it in my saucepan, and uh, then I turn that on as high as it goes, and put a, put a lid on it, you want that to get boiling. Pretty simple, so once that gets boiling, or once that's boiling, then we'll add our rice, which is uh, I got right up here, and uh, once we add our rice, then we'll start up the uh, heating of the black beans. So uh, we'll do that right after I get my chicken in here, okay? Water's boiling. All I need to do is uh, we just need to fill up our nice mug full of rice here. So remember one to one mixture, so just fill that up. Toss that into our boiling rice, or boiling water rather. Uh, give it a little stir with a fork. You want to get all the rice under the water. Cover it, take it off the heat, and now you're good to go with the rice until that's done. So move that up, we'll move that off the heat there. We'll let that go. And um, now I'm going to make, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up the chicken, because I just pulled it off the grill. I'm going to cut up the chicken, and um, then I'm going to start heating up the beans. Just basically going to put the black beans in uh, another saucepan and uh, then we'll start assembling these cheap Oatly burritos. So keep on watching. Alright, so right now I'm going to cut up the cilantro quick so I can put that in the rice. But just to show you how to do that um, easily, you want to get a, a decent chop on it because it's going in the rice. Just kind of bunch it all up with your hand if you can. And then, because you'll get more, more cilantro in there, you want to just, after you get it bunched up, just give it a little cut and that'll make it a little bit easier for you and then keep it in the bunch and uh, that should be plenty good you don't really need to cut it up too much but uh, just a nice rough chop so I'm going to toss that in our rice once that's done and I'm going to squeeze uh, some of this lime in there too alright so now I'm going to take our black beans and start heating these up the main thing uh, with these is you're going to want to rinse them off uh, once you get them out of the can here so that's going to be key otherwise they're going to turn out Kind of the, this. Well, you'll see, you'll notice once you open up a can, but they kind of have this liquid in them. It's kind of this bean sauce, kind of almost a sludge, a bit. It's it's a natural thing that happens to the beans. They kind of just give off this this kind of a this kind of thick thick um, liquid. 
And you know, all you gotta do is just pour a little water in there, rinse it off, rinse it out a couple times. I like to do it like, fill it up with water. Just, I do it this way so I don't have to get a colander dirty. It makes it a little bit easier. And you know, give them a good rinse. Make sure all that black stuff comes out here. Do it one more time. Now yeah, one more, just to get it up. All right, and then you're good. You just want to fill it up with a little bit of water now. Pour it in your pan here. You want a little bit of water, obviously, because you don't want them to get burnt. So, a little bit of water here, and uh, now I am good to go. I'll just throw these on the heat here and let them heat up. You don't really need a high heat, just turn it to a medium low. Let those heat up. I'm gonna cut up the chicken now. So I've got it uh, waiting. I had it in this nice aluminum foil. Cause I didn't want it to, uh... oh, that looks beautiful. Cause I didn't want it to dry out. And that's kind of a key thing. You don't want your chicken to dry out cause otherwise they're gonna get really dry, or it's gonna be dry, it's gonna be chewy and all that stuff. So I'm gonna move my cilantro over here. I've actually got a little bit more cilantro than I need, but that's okay. And um, I'm just gonna slice up my chicken now. If you've watched Four Boys episode two, it's the exact same thing. It's good chicken. Um, so yeah, just thin slices like this, you know, just like that, nice chicken, thin slices like that, we're going to cut all this up, I'll come back, we'll have our beans warm, I'll add the lime and cilantro to the rice, and uh, I'll show you how to heat up a tortilla the way they do it. Uh, lemon fall. Now I'm going to start uh, heating up some water so we can get it boiling, so we can uh, steam the tortillas. Tortillas. Um, so, what I want to do is, I got this nice skillet, Does any kind of skillet you want. And I'm going to obviously turn that to high, high as possible, because I want it to boil. Then, what I'm going to do is uh, it's a little trick, it's kind of the, uh, this is definitely a poor boy technique. This is a pizza tray, uh, it's, it's real shitty, it's kind of broke, if you can tell, it's a little bit there. Uh, you can also use like a, a baking uh, cooling rack. That's what I used to use at the apartment that I had, but uh, we I don't have one. So what I do is I uh, turn on the water, get that to a boil, put the baking rack right over it here. Uh, let me get you a little bit better luck. All right, so yeah, you get this uh, cast iron skillet here. I got my pizza rack. Put that on top, and then you put this. I uh, just got a lid that's bigger than this on top, and I'm gonna let that boil. And then I'll show you what else we need to do. I got my beans here, got my rice here. The rice is just about ready. What I'm going to do now with the rice is I'm going to take it out. I'm going to get rid of any liquid that's in there because there might still be a little bit of liquid. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'll drain that out and then I'll add the stuff you need for your nice cilantro lime rice. So I'll be right over here. All right. All right. Now on to the cilantro lime rice. So got my rice done. It's actually. A, don't do that, because I just got some rice on the floor. Not too much, but yeah, I shot a little hard there. That was not smart. You know, I would edit this, but it's way more funny, because now... Because I don't like to edit stuff that much, but now it's funnier because you just saw me fuck up on the show. So great. Alright, I'm not perfect, and I don't expect you to be either. So, um, take this lid. Going to do the strain, and luckily we don't have too much liquid, so I'm going to grab some of this nicely chopped cilantro here. Put that in there. Um, I don't know. Just put a put as much as you need. I don't overfill it, of course. There's a, it's obvious you can tell what what you how much you need in there. You want it to be mostly rice still. So I got a basically I got a handful, a handful of the chopped cilantro in there. All right, so I'm going to mix that up, and then I've got my lime here half of the lime, and I'm going to squeeze all of the juices, I get all of the juices out because uh, this lime is like, well you can get like three for a dollar or something, so that's a 33 cent lime, I want to use the, uh, as much, uh, as much of the juice as I can. Now when you, when you are juicing a lime, it's best to roll it and kind of bruise it before you juice it. Um, I'm basically trying to get as much juice out of this lime as possible, I got it turned upside down and helps you get into the, uh, the actual, you know, pulp of the uh, lime and get it all out there. So I got most of it out there. Whoops. 
rinse my hands here quick. And uh, then I'm going to stir that up. And so, you smell it, it's, oh, it smells gorgeous. So yeah, this is what's going to be the main thing, our first thing we put in our burrito. So now we're going to put this aside, and we're going to start heating up those tortillas. So if you, can already, if you can't already see, this is steaming right here. Let me give you a better look. All right, so I got all this steaming right here. So I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to grab my tortillas. I like to say it the, uh, the traditional way because I don't... Tortillas? Tortillas, it sounds okay, but tortillas sounds way better. Tortillas sounds cool. And it's, you make, it sounds like a badass thing to do, to say. All right, so, cool. Got that on there. Put the tortilla under there. You want it to get over the boiling water. Put the lid on top. That's going to trap, obviously trap some of that steam. Then we're going to let this go for uh, probably about 30, 45, 30 to 45 seconds. And uh, then we'll flip it. All right, so it's very nice and moist on the one side. Obviously, you're going to be careful because it's very hot. Um, if you don't get a perfect flip, just kind of move the rack around. So yeah, now I'm doing the other side. And at, once that's going, basically now, I'm ready to go. I've got my rice, I've got my beans, I've got my chicken, and I've got, um, I've got some queso, queso fresco here. It's kind of a, a fresh Mexican cheese. It's probably, it's kind of authentic. Well, pretty much, it is authentic. It is authentic Mexican cheese. So, this is done. Very steamed. I'm going to pull this off, which is extremely hot, by the way. So you want to be careful. Spread it out as much as possible. Get some chicken on there. I, I'm going to put quite a bit of chicken on there. Actually, I, I kind of cubed it up a little bit. So I it, got it in smaller pieces, so it's easier to bite. Take care. I'm not going to make another tortilla now. I'm going to turn my water off. Um, I'm going to get a spoon here and spoon off some of this cilantro lime rice on here, which just looks awesome, by the way. So I get a little, little, little bit of rice on here, clean off that. I got my beans right here, my nice hot beans, black beans. Put some black beans on here. Just like at Chipotle, so I got plenty of black beans there. I'm gonna turn the heat off of the black beans because, like I said, I'm not gonna make another one. And then the piece de resistance, as they would say in French. Um, the the final thing I want to put on there is this awesome uh, queso fresco. I used some of it for uh, fajitas, I think, like last week. But I kind of stayed. It's, it's a it's a cheese you can. It's a crumbly kind of cheese. It's not really a traditional cheese. Obviously, I mean, if you want. You can use like cheddar or like like a Mexican cheese blend, but I kind of try to keep it pseudo authentic, just because it's I don't know tastes better I think. But do what you want. This stuff's not that expensive. Queso fresco is not expensive. You just have to use it up right away. So I got enough on there. I'm not gonna overdo it. And then of course got the poor boy salsa, which I always have on hand. Check out episode two if you don't know about the salsa. It's probably the greatest thing ever. What I did with the salsa, now it's a little bit darker. I added, uh, I ended up adding probably more cilantro, and I actually uh, this this batch I made with some uh, fresh. I had a fresh pepper from my mom's garden. I don't know what variety of pepper it was, but it, it is really good. And you know, serrano, a serrano pepper. I got a fresh pepper from the garden in there, so pretty good. And uh, the, the last thing I'm going to do, just a little bit of this, is this uh, hot sauce. You don't have to do it. It's a, it's a green like habanero hot sauce. It's uh, typical Mexican stuff. But just a couple drops on here. And you want to, you kind of want to cook this as fast as possible or get this together because your tortilla is getting uh, drier and you want it to stick together nicely. So now that I've got this all together here, can kind of get this thing folded up and hopefully I don't ruin it on camera because if you've ever gone to like Chipotle or Qdoba sometimes they'll ruin a burrito because it'll like break but this one looks pretty good so beautiful now I've got all of that stuff right in this burrito for you check that out 
It uh, looks awesome, and I'm going to take a bite. And this is a Chipotle burrito brought to you by Poor Boys. This is Derek. I'm your host. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, complaints, hit me up. Derek at PoorBoys.tv. Check out my YouTube channel. It's uh, YouTube.com slash PoorBoysTV. Check that out. Uh, leave me a comment if you like what I've done. If you want more, let me know. Give me some ideas. I love it. Hopefully you guys check out the website, obviously poorboys.tv, and hit, hit the forums if you want. But I hope you guys enjoyed this nice Chipotle burrito, and uh, keep on watching the show. Check out all my episodes, please. Add me as a as a subscri subscri uh, excuse me subscribe subscribe to my videos would be great. And um, hopefully I see you back watching the show later. But uh, I'm gonna take a bite out of this nice burrito and enjoy your. Poor boys eats, so good luck on making it, and let me know how it goes. That's Chipotle. 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 Chipotle.